The LEGO Fortnite's huge new update is less than 24 hours away, and today we're going to be running you through all of the patch notes to let you know everything you're going to need to know before V30.40. And without wasting any of your guys' time, we're jumping straight into this, so make sure you guys click subscribe so you don't miss a thing when the update actually drops, because I'll be covering the gameplay side of things. But for now, like I said, we have patch notes. So the first thing we have here is our promotional image and a brief teaser to get us excited about the update. What if you could travel from Dry Valley to the Frostlands in a flash? Impossible? Not not anymore. In LEGO Fortnite v30.40, take a flying battle bus to travel in your world. Maybe it's a getaway from the tough enemies you need. This update also lets you change the settings of a world you've already created. v30.40 drops in LEGO Fortnite on August 6th, which like I said, is less than 24 hours away if you're watching this video when it releases. It'll be out overnight, but there's so much to get to, so let's keep going. Get on the battle bus? The battle bus fast travel network is ready for operation in your world. Bus stations, a new kind of station, will already be set up in your world. You can build your own by destroying a bus station for rift shards an ingredient for this station at a bus station a familiar looking bus called a battle bus will pick you up and take you to a bus station of your choice get from a village to your favorite mining spot in seconds and as you're seeing on screen this promotional image has already kind of been shown in that teaser trailer but it's interesting to know that you basically have these already set up in your world and you can destroy them for rift shards which is a new ingredient allowing you to build your own battle bus station wherever you please from what it sounds like but that's about all the information we have on the battle bus Next up, we have some new setting changes. So here we go. Enemies on, off, change world settings in your current worlds. You no longer have to make a new world if you want to change your settings. Every setting except your mode, cozy survival, sandbox, and expert, and player elimination can be changed. Just a few heads up. This doesn't apply to the locked settings in expert mode. If you turn off enemies, including stormwild enemies, the existing ones will remain in your world until you defeat them or leave the area. And if you turn off friendly creatures or villagers, the existing ones will remain until you leave the area. Love that. I know people that are still in their original survival worlds maybe from when the game came out have been waiting for the ability to change settings in their world forever like they mentioned though in expert mode most of the settings are locked so there won't be a whole lot of customizability there but in general i'm glad that they're finally moving this direction i think it's a great change last little section they have about settings says like to eat for fun instead of survival turn off hunger want to shake things up with stronger foes turn on storm wild enemies play your way in the worlds you've already made that's a w in my opinion but let's keep going because next we have have toys have a ball un with the new toys and look at this image right here they say stamina hunger all that really matters is that you're having fun and nothing more fun than new toys v30.40 adds a few new ones first off pressure plate a button you can stand on to turn on all channels the button needs to stay down to work trigger plate another button you can stand on to turn on channels unlike a pressure plate the button doesn't have to stay down remember that thrusters will eventually turn off on their own unlock the recipe for a trigger plate by adding blast powder to your inventory the third toy that they're introducing is an activated small balloon a small balloon that comes uninflated inflate it using channel control perhaps a pressure or trigger plate will work and you can unlock the recipe for it by crafting a loom and the fourth and final toy we have being introduced is you guessed it a large activated balloon same thing as a small activated balloon but bigger whoa unlock the recipe for an activated balloon large by crafting a loom as somebody who's still a little bit behind the curve with toys uh this is a little bit out of my expertise but i will be trying it all tomorrow so like i said make sure you're subscribed we're gonna teach ourselves how to use all of these things and i have a feeling it's gonna be pretty similar to minecraft which is a game i played in the past pressure plates are definitely familiar to me and i'm very excited to try them out with balloons and thrusters and my goodness i can imagine how crazy some of the inventions will be if you guys want to show anything off join my discord because we have channels where you can show off all of your builds and i do want to react to some of the craziest ones once they drop overall great changes but we're still not done with the patch notes so let's continue once again next up we got the pirate life lifestyle bundle and you can see the image on screen here we finally have new build sets being introduced to the item shop ready to set sail in the sky with the activated balloons that may mean you're a matey meant to be Jeez, that felt like a tongue twister if you want to live it up like a pirate the pirate lifestyle bundle will be in the shop on august 6th this bundle is 1000 v bucks and includes captain's battlement lego kit with the captain's battlement build and a planky favorites decor bundle this kit is 800 v bucks individually captain's cabin decor bundle with eight decor items especially good for indoor decoration this bundle is 300 v bucks individually and then lastly we have the seaport style decor bundle with eight decor items especially good for outdoor decoration and it's 200 v bucks okay i love this so the most expensive bundle that's coming out is 800 v bucks and i think that they heard the feedback off of lion's night bundle and they
they're definitely decreasing the prices of these. Again, we'll have to wait and see how many builds and pieces and everything that it introduces, but I think they're moving in the right direction. And again, looking at the picture of these builds, you'll see that it introduces a whole new style of pillars and columns and colors and staircases. And honestly, there's a lot to be excited about here. It's not the most vibrant set from the looks of it, but it definitely fits the theme of the sea and pirates and all of that. So believe it or not, this is probably one of the things that I'm personally most excited about for this update. I just love bundles because obviously I love building and adding new pieces around my world. So yeah, I'm hyped. But we still have more to get through on the patch notes. So again, let's keep going. Here we are. Major improvements and adjustments. New vehicle builds. Zoom across your world in the kart racer or carve your own trail in the off-road flyer. Two new vehicles being added in B30.40. And that's amazing. Just like the builds that we currently have in the game. If you come over here, it looks like we should have more, which is nice because three seems like not a whole lot. So I'm looking forward to getting those built in my world. Next up, catalog your discoveries in the codex. Things you will find appear in your codex. Get information on what you've discovered. Get hints on what you haven't and track the recipes you're working on. Can you find it all? And it seems like finally some of these more obscure building pieces that you have to go out in the wild and discover will be categorized now in some sort of codex. For those of you guys who don't know, as you travel around your different biomes and talk to villagers and even run into random things, you will unlock recipes from time to time. So I believe that's exactly what they're talking about here. And it is cool. We'll finally be getting some sort of checklist for them. Anyway, next we got map improvements. You can zoom in much farther on your world map and pan across your entire world. That is huge. When using a controller, you'll have a virtual cursor to control the map with. And lastly, you can ping the map, which will drop a marker to help you with your travel. Incredible changes all around. I'm really excited to be able to zoom all the way out in my world. And also the pinging is a huge thing. I mean, that's the same way it is in Battle Royale. So I'm glad they're finally introducing it in Lego. And the last of the real updates are here in the UI updates. So there's a few things to get through. First, they say always wanted to carry more stuff. V30.40 increases your inventory to 32 spots. That is just insane. I mean, we had 24 before. That's a 33% increase in in our total inventory spots and it's gonna make a huge difference i'll tell you that now especially on resource runs or when you're trying to do a big build project having those extra spots is going to be life-changing very excited for that one next they say filter items in the build menu by theme or set to quickly find what you're looking for again i've been pushing for this one for a very long time we have so many builds in the build menu now it's nice that we can finally sort them by theme or set and lastly another great change which i'm surprised they kept all of these at the very bottom of the patch notes but here we are the last thing in the patch notes says name your worlds and villages whatever you'd like please follow the epic games community rules when creating your own names those are three absolutely incredible changes that they left all the way at the bottom inventory changes sorting through build sets and being able to name worlds i mean come on a lot to be excited about here and as always with these patch notes they tack on some new lego styles that they continue to roll out and as you can see here there's only about five this time around but you can pause if you want to read them and that my friends is all that is in the v30.40 lego fortnite update let me know what you guys think think in the comments i say it all the dang time but it is a mind-blowing update and i'm so hyped for it i think it's going to be one of the biggest ones we have in a minute and i hope that this is all gearing up for the big colombo update we have butter cakes we have all the leaks and teasers so i'm really assuming that we'll have a big purple dinosaur roaming our world soon again all speculation but this update is definitely enough to hold us over drop a like make sure you subscribe because like i said we're going to be dropping constant bangers on the new update when it drops tomorrow code cast in the item shop if you guys are buying the brand new lego bundle that's coming out or any other things in the Fortnite item shop but it's mini boy Kaz. thank you so, so much for watching all the way until the end of this one i will see you guys very soon with update content peace